What's up, guys? It's Sports Blitz here, and we're back with our NFL Week 5 power rankings. Uh, week 4 is mostly in the books. The Monday night football games have not happened yet, so I don't think we're going to see a ton of movement from the Dolphins, Titans, Seahawks, and Lions today, but um, yeah, those games haven't been played, but let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, by the way. So, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and keep these first two the same, actually. Jags at 32, Patriots at 31. I think you could move them around a little bit, but, I mean, they both lost today. Um, I mean, the Jags are winless on the season, too, so I think that's pretty fair. Um, then at... 30. I'm actually going to move the Panthers down to number 30. Um, they did lose to the Bengals today. They put up a good fight. Um, I was watching that one pretty closely. and Panthers offense looked really good. Um, their opening drive, actually, they were driving down the field really well and just got stopped at the one-yard line. There was also a couple questionable pass interference calls right before halftime that let the Bengals go up by a touchdown before then. So between those two things, it really shifted the momentum in the Bengals' favor. But ultimately, the Panthers did lose, so moving them down to 30. Um, at 29, I'm going to go ahead and have the New York Giants. Whoa, not that far. Uh, the New York Giants at 29. Uh, they ended up losing to the Cowboys. They also put up a good fight against them. They were moving the ball really well against the Cowboys. Couldn't get any touchdowns out of it. It was all field goals. But they played pretty tough. Um, can't fault them too much there. But they they played pretty tough, I thought. so. Um, then at... 28. I think I'm going to go ahead and have the Raiders there going up two spots, uh, beating the Browns this week. Um, the Raiders are still a team that, like, look, I know their record says 2-2, two and two, but I, I don't believe in this team. I really don't. Um, I know there's going to be some angry Raiders fans in the comment section. I can already see it coming, but I, I don't believe... In that Raiders team. I really don't. I don't think they're a good team. Um, I think they have some talent on defense. I think they've got a couple solid weapons, but that's about it. Um, their quarterback's really holding them back, if you ask me. 27, I'm going to go ahead and leave the Tennessee Titans there. I mean, like I said before, Monday night football games haven't happened yet, so really no reason to move them back or up for that matter but um 26 I'm gonna have the LA Chargers uh they they lost to to the Chiefs today um it was a pretty close game I feel like they they put up a pretty good fight um yeah I mean 17 to 10 I mean if you're holding the Chiefs to 17 points that's a pretty impressive defensive performance, but, I mean, again, not much really going on for the Chargers offense right there, so you'd definitely like to see more. Um, at 25, I'm actually going to move the Cleveland Browns down here at number 25. Um... Yeah, they, they're they not looking good. Deshaun Watson's not looking good. Honestly, the defense isn't looking as good as I expected either. Um, not a lot to really be excited about with that Browns team, if you ask me. Um, so, yeah, Browns at 25. Um, at 24, I'm going to go ahead and put... Look, I know I mentioned I wasn't going to move the Dolphins down much here because they haven't played yet, 
but I was actually thinking about it last week. I actually thought I had the Dolphins a little bit too high in last week's power rankings. Um, I thought that was completely a fault of my own, especially without Tua. That offense is non-existent. I don't sleep think at I should have on a mattress from Mattress Firm. So I sleep. Whoa. Oh, it's the best sale of the plan. year. Get a Sealy King bed for a queen price. Get matched at Mattress Firm. Sleep at night. Sorry about that, guys. My one of the ads was was just playing out of nowhere. So sorry about that background noise there. Um, but anyways, yeah. I get again on the Dolphins. I just didn't think they really deserved to be that high last week, um, and that's completely my mistake. But got them at twenty four this week. <clears throat> so at twenty three, I'm putting the Chicago Bears. Um, this moves them to two and two. I think they finally had a performance today that, I mean, I'm not going to say it was like a really impressive offensive performance, but they kind of started putting a little something together. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't believe they had any turnovers. I know Caleb Williams didn't throw any picks. Um, and I don't believe there were any fumbles, but I could be mistaken there. Um, I think they played a pretty clean game of football against the Rams and that was a game that I <clears throat> that I thought the Rams were going to win. So, impressive win by the Bears. Um, Caleb Williams is getting better. At 22, I'm going to go ahead and have the Denver Broncos. Uh, not a good performance by the offense. Um, offense did not look very good, including Bo Nix. Um, I saw a stat today that at one point Bo Nix was... 7 of 7 for, or sorry, 7 of 15 for negative 7 yards. I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, there might have been an interception in there as well. I don't know for sure. Um, but anyways, he only finished with 60 passing yards. Um, so offense not looking great. Um, but that defense is looking tough. Um Really impressed with that defense the last at least two weeks. Um, holding the Jets to nine points today and then holding the Bucks to seven points last week. I mean, that's a legit defense. So, really impressive by the Broncos. Um, 21, I'm going to go ahead and put the New Orleans Saints. Um, they lost to the Falcons. I was saying early on with their first two... Well, their first win of the season, it was against a Panthers team that was looking atrocious. And then, yeah, they they beat the Cowboys too, but... And, and in all fairness, I moved them up quite a bit after they beat the Cowboys. I mean, they were... I want to say they were like top 10, or at least close to it, after they beat the Cowboys. But I was saying I want to see them keep it up before I really keep them high in the power rankings. And, well, they've lost two straight now. They lost to the Eagles last week. They lost to the Falcons today. Aren't looking as great anymore. Um, yeah, yeah, Saints down to 21. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have at 20. I'm going to put... I'm going to put the Bengals. I'm going to put the Bengals. Um, I don't want to have them too high after getting their first win today. Um, I mean, I, I thought that was a good game with the Panthers. I thought both teams played really tough. Um, like I say, I think there were a couple plays there that the refs definitely impacted. Um... But, I mean, they, they they did ultimately play really well on offense, and they got their first win. So, moving them up, I don't even remember where I had them at the beginning of this week, but moving them up quite a bit. So, Bengals at 20, at 20, yeah. Um, At number 19, I'm going to go ahead and have the Indianapolis Colts. I believe this is a five-spot 
boost for the Colts. Um, Joe Flacco came in and looked really good against the Steelers. Really, their offense in general looked really good. Um, I mean, Jonathan Taylor was looking good. Their defense was pressuring Justin Fields really well. Um, good performance by the Colts. Um, really impressive win. At number 18, I'm going to go ahead and actually put the Arizona Cardinals. If it'll place them in the right spot. Um, yeah, putting the Cardinals here at 18. Um, they lost to the Commanders. Um there's not really a whole lot I really need to say about that. I mean, the Commanders are looking really good, especially on offense. Um, Jaden Daniels is looking like the real deal. So I get it was definitely a tougher game for them. But yeah, Cardinals here at 18. Um, 17. I'm going to go ahead and... see I'm, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the Cowboys at 17 I know this is technically moving them down from last week but I didn't really feel great about putting the commanders below them when they have a better record than them and are currently looking like a better team um, than the Cowboys so and there weren't really any teams above them that I really wanted to move this far down. So I'm moving the Cowboys down to 17. I know they beat the Giants, but it wasn't a very good-looking win. It really wasn't. It was pretty ugly. Um, and I believe the Cowboys are 2-2 two and two now, so we'll have to see what they turn into. I know they also have injuries right now with Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence, so those are pretty big injuries. Um, at number 16, I'm going to go ahead and actually put the Rams here at number 16, um, moving them down a few spots after losing to the Bears. Uh, yeah, I expected the Rams to win this game. I really did. I, I thought they were going to, I, I, I expected their defense to play a lot better than they did. Um. I know they don't have Cup, they don't have Puka, but they beat the 49ers without him last week. I really expected them to beat the Bears too, but that didn't end up happening, so. Um, yeah, at number 15, at number 15, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually put the Pittsburgh Steelers, um, I know this looks really low for a lot of people, but, I mean, they lost to the Colts. They didn't really look great today. Um, that was definitely a game I expected the Steelers to win, and they didn't. So, dropping them four spots from 11 to 15. Um, at 14, going to go ahead and put the Commanders here. Absolutely massive jump this week for the Commanders. Um, biggest jump of the week for me. Uh, Jaden Daniels just continues to impress me more and more. Um, I mean, he's really, really running that offense well, and that offense looks lethal. Um, defense, still not looking too great. That defense needs to get better, but offensively, it's looking really, really good there. Um... It's exciting to see Jaden Daniels playing that well. So, 13, going to go ahead and put the Seattle Seahawks here. Um, I know this is technically a boost of, I think, one or two from last week. Um, but again, they haven't played. They haven't played yet this week. Um, I mean... I, I, I thought it was right to boost them because the Steelers lost and I wanted to put them below the Seahawks. That's all I really have to say about that. Here at 12, um, hold on, let me think about the order of, 
of this coming up here. I think I'm going to actually put the Eagles here at 12. Um, they ended up kind of getting punched in the face by the by the Bucks. Um, it was a pretty big beatdown. Um, didn't didn't look great. I know they didn't have Devontae Smith or AJ Brown, so that definitely played a huge role in it. Um, but yeah, Eagles just didn't look great. Lost pretty bad to the Bucks. So, um, uh, number eleven. I'm gonna go ahead and. Let's see. All right. So I think I think at 11 I'm going to go ahead and actually put the Jets. Um I think maybe I had the Jets a little bit too high last week at number 5. Um I think 11 after losing to the Broncos is pretty realistic. Um I still think they're a solid football team. I still think they've got a good offense, good defense. They were just kind of out of sync today, especially offensively. Like I said, the Broncos have a really good defense, so, you know, take that for what it is. But, yeah, still Jets didn't look great offensively, so. Uh, number 10, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Atlanta Falcons. Um, this is a boost of, like, 6 or 7. They looked good. They they turned away the Saints. Um, NFC South matchup as well, so got a good division win. Uh, this is also as time was running out on the clock. Young Way Ku game winning field goal. So big win for Atlanta. Really impressive win by Atlanta as well. Uh, number nine, moving the Packers down. It's number nine. Um, yeah, they they played a tough fight against the Vikings. They did. Jordan Love had like 400 passing yards, four touchdowns, and I think three picks. Um, so, yeah, the, the Packers looked good. They were getting some stuff done offensively, but... I think they let themselves get too far behind offensively early on. The Vikings had too big of a lead. The Packers just couldn't really come back. So, yeah, Packers there at number nine. At number eight, going to go ahead and put the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, they they looked good today. They, like I said before, they kind of punched the Eagles in the mouth. They looked really good. Um Baker looked really good again today. Mike Evans looked good. Um, honestly, defense looked really good too. Really impressed by the Bucks today. Then we have the Ravens here at number seven. Very, very impressive win over the Buffalo Bills in prime time. Thirty-five to ten came out just absolutely swinging against the Bills. Um, very first play for them was like an 85-yard touchdown for Derrick Henry. Um, they answer again next drive with another touchdown and just put a beat down on the Bills. Um, I want to move them up even higher, but I do realize the Ravens are only 2-2 two and two right now, so I don't want to move them up too high. But... I mean, that was a really impressive win. You can't deny it. That was a really impressive win. So, at number six, I'm going to go ahead and have the Texans there. Going to go ahead and keep them at number six. Um, it was a little bit too close of a win against the Jags this week. A little too close for comfort. Um, I think they won like 24-20, to 20, if I'm not mistaken. Um... So, 
yeah, I I don't think I don't think that performance really. I I don't think they deserve to go into the top five with that sort of perform performance. So, um, I think at number five, I'm gonna move the 49ers. Uh, this is a two spot boost. Um, they beat the Patriots. The Patriots are kind of a team that I expected to be bad, and they have been bad. Um, I mean, Niners did look good, but you gotta realize who they're playing again. Um, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and move them up too high. So, yeah, uh, Niners at, at number five. Then I'm going to put the Bills at number four here. Um, yeah, they, they got walloped by the by the Ravens tonight on Monday night or Sunday night football. Um, finally, finally dethroned the Bills this year, um, handed them their first loss of the season, just, it, it was, it was ugly, it was an ugly performance by the Bills, so, yeah, moving them to number four, um, at number three, I'm actually going to keep the Lions there, they were at number three last week, um, like I said, they didn't play this week yet, because the Monday night games haven't started yet, so, gonna go ahead and keep them at three. I think that makes complete sense. Number two, the Kansas City Chiefs are getting dethroned. Um, I know they won today. I know I said before that until they lose, they're gonna stay number one. But I think we. I think I'd be kind of kidding myself if I said that. They're the best looking team in football right now. The best looking team in football right now is the Minnesota Vikings. So I have the Vikings at number one in the power rankings this week. Um, I didn't think this was going to happen this season, guys. Like, <clears throat> I want you guys to go back to my early, like my very first power ranking of the season. I had them in the bottom five. I thought the Vikings were going to be bad. I didn't think they'd have a very good defense. I didn't believe in Sam Darnold. Um, I just I didn't think it was going to be a good team at all. And they're the best team in football right now. They're four and zero, absolutely blowing out their opponents. Um, <clears throat> again, I know the Packers game today was a little closer, but the Packers are a good team too. Especially when Jordan Love is under center. I mean, very impressive win by the by the Vikings. Um, I think I think the the power rankings are really starting to come together a little bit. So let me know what you think of these rankings in the comment section below. Again, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.